Hi guys, welcome back to Adam Reka TV. Back again with me, Fifi, and I want to welcome all of our audience and member joining us online tonight. I hope you are doing well and, of course, staying safe during this uh, pandemic of COVID-19. And for those of you guys who are joining for the first time tonight, I welcome you guys. And for those of you who never know what Ad America is, Ad America is the U.S. Embassy American Center here in Jakarta. And our mission is to provide a space for young Indonesians to learn more about the United States. And yes, we're temporarily moved to a solid digital platform, but don't worry, you can still enjoy us at the comfort of your own home. And for those of you guys who are joining from our social media platform, you can uh, you guys can answer the question or just leave your question at the comment box for each platform. Or for those of you guys who are joining through Zoom, you can leave your question at the chat box section. And please don't forget to use this feature wisely. All right, and today uh, tonight we're going to in uh, to that tonight we're going to discuss about impactful leadership, be a person who can lead. And before we're going to start the event, I'd like to break the ice with the little game. So I already have the question for tonight's event. And the question is, what organization dedicated to providing disaster relief was founded by Clara Burton? I repeat the question one more time. What organization dedicated to providing disaster relief was founded by Clara Burton? You guys can uh, answer the question by commenting at our live of our social media platform or just uh, leave your answer at the chat box if you're joining through Zoom. And please stay tuned until the end of the event. I'd like to give a live shout out to you guys with the correct answer. And don't forget to take a selfie during the event and check Ad America's Instagram account. All right, I think that's it for me. I'll see you guys again at the end of the program. I'd like, I'd like to pass it to our moderator for tonight. Please welcome Director Toastmaster Christian. Thank you, Fifi. Thank you for Ad America for the time and the Zoom access. Actually, we have been in partnership with Ad America for eight great years. Yes, over the past eight years, at America has facilitated our meeting, Metropolitan Toastmasters meeting, with a state-of-the-art technology and unbelievably helpful team. So thank you again, at America. Before I go on, let me introduce some of dignitaries that are present in today's event. I would like to personally welcome District Director of District 87 2020, Distinguished Toastmasters Alan Ang, we also have the Program Quality Director of District 87 2020 2021, Distinguished Toastmaster Zilva Voas. We have with us Division B Director 2020 2021. Mirza Darsha Putra, Strategic Relationship Level 2. We also have the Area B1 Director 2020-2021, Alfen Delano, Visionary Communication. We have Area B2 Director 2020-2021, Tias Gusti Harta, Effective Coaching Level 3. And we also have Past District 87 Director, for 2016 and 2017, Distinguished Toastmasters Ivy Lau. And of course, I would like to personally welcome you as well, our fellow Metzers, 
our Toastmasters member from other clubs, and our distinguished guests. Tonight, we will have a special event that is uh, the discharge as well as installation of Exco. We will have trivia quiz, we will have table topic, and we will have other events as well. There will be only five questions for trivia quiz and three questions for table topic. So for any one of you who would like to participate, you can show yourself via Zoom and raise your hand. The committee will determine who will participate. So again, if you want to participate, open up your Zoom, raise your hand, and the committee will determine who will be the participant. Oh yeah, there will be prizes for the trivia quiz as well. <laughs> so for the benefit of you who just knew about Metropolitan Toastmasters, let me give you a brief explanation about us. Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, or what we call ourselves as METS, is part of Toastmasters International, an international non-profit organization that trains people in the skill of public speaking and leadership. Toastmasters International was first established in 1924 by Dr. Ralph Smedley. So this organization has been around for 96 years. It has been, it has more than 358,000 members in 143 countries in the world, helping members to excel in the area of public speaking and leadership. So what do we have in the agenda? We will have trivia quiz. We will have exco installation. We will have table topic session. We will have performance. And last but not least, we will have educational session. So let's move to our first session, which is trivia quiz. It is going to be led by the member, a member from other club, from Motivated Toastmasters Club. So let us welcome our, uh, our trivia quiz master, Toastmaster Noor Adli. Okay. Thank you, Christian, for the great introduction. So, hello, everyone. My name is Noor, and I will be your quiz master tonight. We will have a Toastmasters trivia quiz. Yay. And there will be a reward for those who can get the correct answer. So, I would like to invite every one of you who attend the meeting tonight to join the quiz okay and of course I will, I will not be alone yeah in choosing the participant of the quiz Toastmasters actually will help me choose who will have the right to to, to answer the, my question okay let's find our first participant okay Wait a minute, Toastmaster Cecil, are you there? Okay, I already get the list and let's move to the first question. For Indri, the first question is, in what year was Toastmaster International founded? You can send me the answer via chat or indri okay all right lots of answer already on the public yeah but we don't know whether is it true or not for Indri, please send me your answer, yeah? Okay, okay. And the correct answer is 1924, yeah? Okay, that's the correct answer. Toastmaster International was funded in 1924, according to Google. <laughs> that's correct. So congratulations for Toastmaster Indri. 
you are the you are the answer. Give me the correct answer and please send a message to Toastmaster Mike to get your reward your reward yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and then let's move to the next question. Wait, don't change the slide yet. The second person who is lucky to get the question is Gusti. Okay, Gusti, are you ready? Let's move to the second question. Next slide. Guess the role, who I am. I help the club members improve their grammar and vocabulary and give my report at the end of meeting. Who is it? For Gusti, please send me your answer. All right, I think for everyone who want to give answer, please send a private chat, yeah? Don't send it on public chat. And the participant is chosen. So yeah, if you don't get chosen, you will not get a reward. Please send me your answer, Gusti. Okay, Gusti answer is Grammarian. Is it correct? Yes. Someone who help improve their grammar and vocabulary and give the report at the end of the meeting is Grammarian. Yes, congratulations for Gusti. Wow. I think the question is too easy, yeah? Gusti, please send a message to Toastmaster Mike to get your rewards. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move to the third participant. Third participant is someone with that I am sure that everyone already knows, yeah? It is Toastmaster Zilfa. Are you ready? Okay, let's move to the third question. Next slide. Pathways. Some of you may know that in Toastmaster, we have pathways that help. <laughs> and how many pathways that currently exist? Oh my God, the answer is so fast. And as expected of Toastmaster Zilfa, the, her answer is 11 pathways. And the answer is correct. Okay. Congratulations for Toastmaster Zilfa. You get the correct answer. So fast. I mean, it's very, very fast. Like, are you recorded in your mind? <laughs> or do you have some premonition? That's amazing. Congratulations. And please chat Toastmaster Mickey to get your rewards, yeah? And the reward is very good. You will know, you will love it. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move to the four participant. Yeah, to the fourth participant. The fourth participant is someone from Metropolitan Toastmaster, which is Clarissa. Clarissa, are you ready? Let's move to the yes, fourth yes, I'm question. ready. Next slide. <laughs> I'm the president of Metropolitan Toastmasters. Choose the correct number. Should I really choose it? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? It's, it's random, yeah. Number random, one. <laughs> and you get lucky. And right, number one. Let's see. Number one is someone called Clarissa. Tantono, yeah, Clarissa Tantono, and yes, you guess it right. <laughs> Toastmaster, <laughs> Metropolitan Toastmaster of 2019 and 2020 is Clarissa Tantono. For those who don't know, the previous president is Rafi Nugraha. Okay, congratulations. I think this question is wrong for you. <laughs> I don't understand how can you get this question. Anyway, congratulations, Clarissa. For the reward, for the correct answer, and you may get your reward at Toastmaster Mike, yeah? Okay, I'm sure this last question is the most difficult. Someone who get this question, I think we'll, we'll need to think hard of what is the answer. Let's move to the last question. And someone who got lucky is Toastmaster Jessica. Next slide. Ready, yeah? Jessica? <laughs> I will give you five seconds. What is the club nickname of Metropolitan Toastmasters? Send me 
Your answer. <laughs> Jessica, where are you? Give me your answer. Okay, Jessica in the answer match, but I, I'm sure everyone is so <laughs> excited to answer, yeah? Yeah, this is the most difficult and the easiest if you often join Metropolitan Toastmaster meeting. And the correct answer is Mets. M-E-T-S. That is the nickname of Metropolitan Toastmasters. Uh, congratulations, Jessica. Wow, I think I, have, I made the quiz too easy, yeah? Too easy. Everyone can answer, can give me the answer in less than five seconds. Wow. <laughs> okay, then. Congratulations, Toastmaster Jessica. Please get your reward at Toastmaster Mike. Everyone, tonight, answered answer correctly yeah, for the quiz. Congratulations. It is very unexpected. I purposely, I purposely made it so everyone can answer it easily, but I'm still surprised of how fast that everyone can answer. Yeah? Yeah, I see that everyone loves Toastmasters so much. And that's it for my session. Thank you for joining and for those who don't get to answer the quiz, please join Metropolitan Toastmaster meeting next time. Maybe, maybe there will be a quiz, right? And that's all from me. I give back the power to Toastmaster Christian. Thank you, Toastmaster Sadli. It was a very informative quiz. At least now we know, if we don't know before, all the answers for the question that you have uttered. So after this, we will be playing a video titled Mets Kaleidoscope. My God, it is a very hard to pronounce. So I've been asking about this uh, through the ESCO as well. What it is all about, but they keep dodging the question. So I am quite curious about what it is all about. So without further ado, let's play it. Mets Kaleidoscope. dari Ari dan Alia jadi mereka udah siapin satu lagu buat kita. Yeay. Ya silakan Ari dan Alia. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Who do you think my collection's complete? Who do you think I'm the girl? The girl who has everything.
Kaleidoscope will be the snippets of what we have done, our events, and the achievement that we have uh, completed. And thank you for Toastmaster Clarissa, our immediate past president, who have prepared all that. So it was a very superb and neat work. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to go into the core of today's event, the night of the EXCO. For this, let me introduce you the Area B1 Director for 2020-2021, Alvin Delano, Visionary Communication, to lead the event. Alvin, the Zoom is yours. Okay. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmasters Christian. First of all, the video is really nice. I enjoy to watch the video, and it's really, uh, memorable memories with all of uh, the executive committee and also the member of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. Please give a round of applause to Toast Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. Okay, my fellow Toastmasters, visiting member and guests. First of all, let's give a round of applause to our dignitaries guests like our district director, district 87 director, Distinguished Toastmasters, Alan Ang, can you turn on your video, please? Hello, Distinguished Toastmasters, Alan Ang. And then the second one is our Program Quality Director, Distinguished Toastmasters, Zilpa Boas, please turn on your video. Okay. And then Jen B. Director, uh, Toastmaster uh, Toast Mirza Darsha, and also Area B. Director from B2 and B3. So first of all, let's proceed 
to the installation of the new executive committee Metropolitan Toastmasters Club 2020-2021. So let's make a roll first. The first one, when I call your name, kindly turn on the video and say your full name. And then after that, turn off your video and then I call the others uh, exco. And also when I ask, will you, you have to give a response, uh, I will. When I say, do you, you have to give response, I do. So first of all, uh, fellow Toastmasters, we shall begin the installation ceremony of the new executive committee, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And tonight, I will be your installing officer. I would like to call the incoming executive committee. So outgoing club officers, Toastmaster Clarissa, can you turn on the video? Toastmaster Clarissa? I have turned on my video. Okay, thank you so much. And the next one, Toastmaster Aiditya Yusa. Yes, I'll hand. And the next one, uh, Toastmaster Cecilia Astri. Toastmaster Indra Nusirwan. Toastmaster Indriana Apriani. And Toastmaster Yulinia. And last but not least, Toastmaster Rido Gusti. So thank you for the work that you have done this year and for the work that you did up to the end of the Toastmasters year of June 30th. As of June 30th, and now you are officially discharged from all further duties and responsibilities as officers of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. So give a round of applause to the, the Executive Committee 2019-2020. So kindly turn off the video and and mute yourself and proceed to the installation of the new executive committee, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club 2020-2021. So the collective uh, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, this is your challenge this year. Your collective challenge is to make this club strong, dedicated, and to helping people also from all walks of life to speak in effective manner, listen with sensitivity, and think creatively. I will ask each officer to hold a symbol of leadership as I briefly describe the challenges he or she must, make, must meet and the responsibilities he or she must fulfill. So first, uh, let me call Sergeant at arm. Christopher Susanto. Christopher, kindly turn on the video. Right. Okay. First of all, Toastmaster Christopher Susanto, yeah. you have been chosen as Sergeant at Arms. Will you perform your duties to the best of your ability? All right. I, Christopher Susanto, will give my best as Sergeant at Arm for Metropolitan Postmaster Club. I promise to set my arm well enough for our club and to be a role model for our members. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Christopher Sutanto. And now I declare your installation as our as Metropolitan Toastmasters Club Surgeon at Arm. And then let's call the treasurer. Mika Wijaya Rumambi. Kindly turn on the video. Yeah. Okay, when I I say you, you have to answer I will first and then you have to read the statement on the screen, okay? Okay. Toastmaster Mika Rijaya Vijaya Rumandi, will you perform your duties to the best of your ability? I will. I will. 
and then read I your Jaya Rumandi pledge to oversee our club's financial record with the best of my ability. As your club's treasury, I will be a role model for our members. And now, I declare your installation as club secretary of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And you all responsibility also as the secretary of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And then will you perform your duties best of your ability? I will. Kindly read the statement. Oh, I will, I, Miko Vijay Rumandi, pledge to oversee our club's financial record with the best of my abilities. As your club's treasury, I will be a role model for our members. Thank you. And now I declare your installation as club secretary, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And then let's proceed for the five, vice president public relation, Toastmaster Attila Salsabila. Kindly turn on the video. Toastmaster Attila Salsabila, will you perform your duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. And which pledge is on the screen? I, Attila Salsabila, as Vice President Public Relations, pledge to maintain positive image for the club and to attract new members. I promise to be a role model for our members. Okay, now I declare you as Cal Club Vice President Public Relations for Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And next, Toastmaster Vivit Saha. Kindly turn on the video. Toastmaster Vivit. Okay. Hello? Yeah, hello. Okay, Toastmaster Vivit. Will you perform the test to the best of your ability? I will. And then read the page on the screen. I, we will have as vice president membership, promise to support our club's growth and success by building strong membership culture and ensuring that not a single member of this club is left behind. I promise to be a role model for our members. Now, I declare your installation as Vice President of Membership, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And next, Toastmaster Rido Gusti Tohari. Kindly turn on the video. Okay, Toastmaster Rido Gusti Tohari, will you perform your duties to the best of your ability? I will. Can you read the statement on the screen? I, Rido Gusti Tohari, as Vice President Education, pledge to support the Executive Committee in serving our members. Everyone will have equal and fair opportunities to grow and to develop with the fullest extent. I promise to be a role model for our members. And now I declare your installation of your installation as Vice President of Education, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. And last but not least, let's proceed to the President of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster Cecilia Astri Piona Simbol, kindly turn on the video. Toastmaster Astri. So, anyone? We will still wait for Toastmaster Astri. Uh, can someone unmute Toastmaster Cecilia Astri? Yeah, okay. Okay. Toastmaster Cecilia Astri Piona Simbolon, will you perform your duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Can you read the statement on the screen? Okay. Now, as president of this club, 
I pledge to oversee the overall operation of this club to ensure compliance with the Toastmaster Constitution. I promise to protect the interests of this club and its members with the best of my abilities. I promise to be a role model for our Toastmasters international vision. Thank you, Toastmaster Cecilia Astri Piono Simbolon. And now I declare your installation as President Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. Please give a round of applause to all of you. And now I'm pleased to announce that your new executive committee has been installed. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. Please give a big applause again as a sign of acceptance and appreciation to your new executive committee 2021, uh, 2020 and 2021. So can you previous to the back, previous slide? So I will show you the gavel is a symbol of the power and authority given to you by the by the membership of this club. Use it, use it wisely and with restraint. You are a member of your team as well as a leader. A team is more than a collection of people. It's an emotional force rooted in the feelings, thoughts, and action of all members with a common goal of achievement, sharing, and mutual support. Work with your team member to create a healthy, a dynamic club, a club of which everyone is proud. And now, let's recall the president of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, Cecilia Astri Piona Simbolon, Vice President Education, Rido Gusti Tohari, Vice President Membership, Wiwit Wahab, Vice President Public Relations, Atila Salsabila, Secretary, Mika Rijaya Rumambi, and also as the Treasurer, Mika Rijaya Rumambi, and Sergeant at Arm, Christopher Susanto. And your new president will address to the club. Your time, the time is your Toastmaster Cecilia Astri. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think when you are chosen as a leader in this situation with most of new escorts are new members? What I thought first was I want to be their friends. I want to know their strength, weakness, a communication style, and working style they feel comfort. In my opinion, this is important to leaders to know them personally, uh, and it works for me. I want to know them personally as a friend and also for uh, as a team. I have been working with them one month before today, and I feel their energy is so big. They're so creative, uh, open-minded, and have a willingness to learn something new. I believe with those power and energy, they can, uh, we can make a good teamwork for one year forward. For members, I'm so grateful to be part of them. Our current members have different background. I learn many things from them with their backgrounds and I learn how to be a good public speaker for, from them too. In my perspective, being president is not only about position. It's about how much I, me personally, cares to club members and also escorts. And I'm sure that we can achieve our DCP again next year together as a team. Last word, I have a quote from, uh, from John Quincy Adams. I always keep for myself that if your action inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. My name is Cecilia Astripiona Simbolon. As new president of Metropolitan Toastmaster Club, is ready to work as a team with MATS members. Thank you. Back to you, PTM Christian. Thank you, Toastmaster Astri. It was a very heartful speech. And I would like to congratulate you for your team as well to lead this term 2020-2021.
I am certain that under your leadership, Mets will continue to flourish and remain positive place for the people to learn public speaking and leadership. Exco 2019-2020, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you for your servant leadership for your term. You have done an amazing job. Alvin also has something for you, don't you, Alvin? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me call upon our Area B1 Director for 2020-2021, Alvin Delano, Visionary Communication. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. This thing is Toastmasters Christian. So, past executive committee, immediate past executive committee, Clarissa and team really did a great job. So, of your member, will you please area B1 in, in District 87 beach competition? And that's great contribution to your club. So, in order to give appreciation, I do believe this, this simple appreciation is about certificate. Just, I hope kindly you, you accept it. Please show the certificate of appreciation to the uh, immediate past executive committee Metropolitan Tosmas Club 2019-2020. First, Okay, next slide, please. Okay, uh, kindly turn on the video when I call your name. First of all, Toastmaster Clarissa Tantono. Thank you for the hard work and for the job that you really did really well. Thank you. And then, next, and then, to Toastmaster Raditya Yosa. Thank you for the hard work and the contribution that you give, gave to your club. Give a round of applause to Toastmaster Raditya Yosa. Next. And Toastmaster Cecilia Astri, previously uh, had responsibility as vice president membership. Thank you for the hard work and also your contribution to your club. And next, Toastmaster Indra Nushirwan, thank you for the hard work and your contribution to the club. And next, please. And Toastmaster Yuliana Prabandari. Thank you for the hard work and, and contribution to the club. And next. Uh, Indriana Apriani, Toastmaster Indriana Apriani, thank you for the hard work and also your contribution to your club. And last but not least, Surgeon at Arm, Toastmaster Rido Tohari. Thank you for the hard work and also contribution to the club. And now, it is now my pleasure to declare these Toastmasters installed into the offices to which they have been elected. Congrats to the new Executive Committee Metropolitan Toastmasters Club 2020 and 2021. Give good luck for the next years. I wish you, uh, I wish you good thing. And also congratulations. And last but not least, keep working together collaboratively, inspire other members and other club. Thank you. Back to distinguished Toastmaster Christian. Thank you, Toastmaster Alvin, for the discharge and the installation of the new officers. Now, we are now going to have our table topic sessions. So for the benefit of the guests, this is one of our regular meeting in our regular session in our meeting. 
So you get a sneak peek on what to expect when you attend our regular meeting. This table topic session will be led by a lady who always has a smile on her face no matter what. So ladies and gentlemen, our table topic master, Toastmaster Hamida. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Christian. I will do the salute from now on. Uh, thank you, Christian. Uh, so tonight, I will be your uh, table topic master. So what is table topic? It's basically that you can give one to two minute speeches uh, about the things that are I'm going to give uh, in a surprise, right? So tonight, uh, the topic is about leaders, right? So what makes a good leader? Forbes.com said that good leaders should be willing to uh, make decision, uh, especially uh, under the condition, uh, under crisis condition. As we know, currently we are living in a crisis condition. This COVID-19 pandemic is one, if not the biggest uh, crisis that we have uh, in recent years. So, and, and it's been proven that countries that uh, can manage the crisis, uh, that can manage the COVID-19 situation, uh, are the countries with good leaders, uh, are the countries with leaders that can uh, have a quick and effective uh, decision-making process. Okay, so tonight I will uh, test you, I will challenge you uh, on how will you, uh, how well will you uh, manage a crisis. Can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, next. Next slide, please. Okay, so here's how the games uh, will work. I have two set of uh, cards, well, not cards, like pieces of papers. Uh, so one card contains a role and one card uh, will contain a crisis. So basically, I will shuffle this card uh, and then I will take the top uh, of the card and I will give you a role and a crisis. So uh, your, task is, your task here is to uh, deliver one to two minute speeches, uh, speech, sorry, one to two, two minute speech. Uh, where, uh, so you will convince us as, so we are your citizen, and you will convince us how will you manage a uh, selected crisis if you were someone in the role, got it? So for example, uh, can we go to the next slide, please? For example, the role is the Ministry of Forestry and the crisis is uh, alien in, uh, invaded uh, earth. So you have to convince us, how uh, will you act as Ministry of uh, Forestry uh, to manage this crisis? For example, you will uh, make sure that the aliens will have food uh, or will have a safe uh, space of landing in a crop, for example, like that. So uh, yeah. We, uh, you you uh, you have to convince us. Uh, if not, we will riot. <laughs> no, we will not. We are good citizens. We are not. We will not riot. Okay. Uh, so I have the list of uh, the volunteers of volunteers. The first one is Toastmaster Tias Gusti. Are you there, Toastmaster Tias Gusti? Can you please? Yeah, okay. So I will shuffle this card for you. Can you say stop? Stop. Stop. Not yet? Okay. And this one. <laughs> Can you please say stop? Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. So, oh, this is a match. So the crisis is also. Oh, the role is, you are the Ministry of Finance, you are Bu Sri Mulyani, if okay. you are living in Indonesia. And mm -hmm. the crisis is, all 1,000 rupiah is magically disappeared in your country. All 1,000 rupiah is magically disappeared. So this is the crisis. So 
you have one to two minutes to convince us uh, how, how will you manage this crisis. Uh, and Toastmaster Christopher will be the timer, right? Yes, okay. So uh, Toastmaster Christopher will give you a green flag. If you have uh, reached the one minute, uh, yellow. If you have, if you reach uh, the one and a half minutes, and the and the red one is meaning that you have to stop. Okay, got it. Uh, Tos Master Gusti, are you ready? Ready. Okay, one to two minutes. Kak, Kak, there is a kid yelling to his sisters to ask him something. Kak, I want to buy a chocolate. My I ask you a money, please? Okay, wait, hold for a second. I try to check my pocket and give you some thousands of rupiah. And when his sister opened the pocket, she's surprised. Did you know why? Because time, the money is disappear. And not only that, she actually looking around at the same time, many people are so surprised because the thousands of money are disappear. And suddenly, I am Gusti as the minister of finance in Indonesia got a call. Kring, 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 kring. Hello. Oh, Mr. Minister, we got bad news. What is bad news? The thousands of rupees nomis are disappear. What? Yeah, really, how you can handle it? What I can say is, please keep calm. When we have thought about the nomi of 1,000, we have still 2,000, right? Yes, of course. So for a while, in short term, please use that money. And I will call the intelligence committee to looking for what happened in the market and also talk with the president about it. So please, the first thing, make the mass calm because the panic society will destroy the economy later on. Our stocks will get drawn. Many people actually the panic and investors going to cut off from this country is not good. So please keep calm and make advertising that no worries, just be happy because the money will be to that. That's all back to you, fellow topic master. That's what I had Yay, thank you, those master. Gusti, thank you so much. I feel like I'm watching the serious scandal and I'm expecting Olivia Pope like comes in front of like in front of us. <laughs> it's it's really good. Uh, okay, so next in the list is Toastmaster Uyun. Toastmaster Uyun, can you please oh, yeah. turn on your video and audio? Okay. Hello. Uh, oh, am hello. I yes. Okay. Yes. My we can hear and see you. Okay. Yes, oh, it's clear. Too right here okay. <laughs> no, no no it's not dark we can okay. see you in front of all the flowers okay, okay. so <laughs> the cards are already being uh shuffled, oh, so i will so i will uh choose uh the top one okay okay so the crisis is it's raining cats and dogs literally okay. so it's not okay. figuratively so there are literally cats and dogs uh Falling from the skies in your country. Oh, okay. Okay. And your role is governor of the city. Okay. So how well will you manage this crisis? You have to convince us that you can manage this crisis well, or else we will riot. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. Get it, Tosmatar Uyun? You have one to two minutes. Okay. Okay. Imagine a city and 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens. We just got into an accident that there is a raining of cats and dogs today. I hope you that you will be calm to face this problem. And for this, I would like to invite all the district heads to come to my office tonight at 9 p.m. to have our urgent meeting. It's extraordinary case that we have to tackle this. And for all fellow citizens, I would like to ask your cooperation to be calm and go to our city website in www.jakarta.go.id to inform your situation. That will be handled by our special committee, our very special one, this committee, is led by our head of anim uh, husbandry division that will handle if that cats and dogs are barging into your home. And for this, I hope that you always monitor the news as well as our notifications, whether in television, radio, or our social media. And for this, I really hope that for the case of rainings of cats and dogs today, you will be kind to that animal because those animals are also part of our asset that the government, uh, that my, go my like district heads will build a house like a shelter for them. So don't worry that they will be uh, kept by us very humanly way. And that's all my announcement for today. So I hope you will be calm to face this raining cats and dog. Okay, be strong, be together as Jakartans. Thank you. Thank you. It's really cool. I'm going to vote you for the next uh, governorial election. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so last but not least, we have Toastmaster Ready. Toastmaster Ready. Toastmaster Ready. So you have yeah. the last choice. Yeah. Uh, and the crisis is ding 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 ding. Aliens invade your city. So okay. there's a new UFO. So it's like the movie Arrival, if you know the movie. <laughs> Aliens invade your city, and your role is Ministry of Health. I don't know what's the correlation between Ministry of Health and <laughs> Aliens, uh, but you have to convince us that you can act as a good uh, Ministry of Health under this crisis. You have one to two minutes. Are you ready? Toastmaster ready? Yes, yes. Okay, one to two minutes. You can start now. Okay, good afternoon, my fellow citizens and your ministers of health here speaking so as you see uh, currently our our country uh, our city is being invaded by uh, by aliens from an uh, from identified aliens that we are not identified yet but don't worries we have uh, we have caught one of the aliens and we have made a quick uh, made a quick experiments and research on in this particular species that they are safe and they are cannot do you any harm they are not they are not like snakes that can poison you they are not like scorpions that can poison you but they are safe they are same as you as human so touching them will be uh if you happen to be in touch with them that's uh you will you'll be okay so as as the situation goes, we are also uh, uh, we are also collaborating. We collaborate with our minister of defense to negotiate with the aliens. So you'll be um, if if somehow somehow they reach your house, just uh, just let us know. Let uh, let the country know, and we will uh, make the necessary necessary actions for you and to for you to be safe to stay safe at your home so so uh just just stay at home and we'll handle the rest for you thank you back to you Mr. Hamida. 
Thank you, Tasha Sarebi, and thank you all for the volunteers. Uh, they're really great. Uh, you you are all good leaders because I don't have any intentions for riot. So you prove us uh, that you can uh, manage a crisis well. Uh, I hope if these conditions ever happen, uh, fingers crossed, no. I, I'm not ready to meet an alien, uh, but if this condition uh, happened, we really hope that you are our leader. <laughs> so thank you also to Toastmaster Christopher for the uh, effective uh, red and yellow and the green flag. Uh, back to you, Toastmaster Christian. Thank you, Toastmaster Hamida. Thank you for the participation of the audience and thank you for the table topic that is very different. So after this, we are going to have a special performance. This duo of husband and wife would be Matt's lovely couple. Ari is a chemical engineer and Alia is a pharmacist. But even what seemed to be a hardcore occupation they would always have a special place in their heart for music. Ari and Alia, take us all away. Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Ari and this is my wife Alia and we're both a member of METS. So what are we going to perform today? Cooking for <laughs> Cooking? Okay, <laughs> let's do a demo on cooking. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to, uh, to perform two songs. The first one is Blackbird, which is a song from the Beatles. Uh, why we choose Blackbird? Uh, it's an interesting song because that, uh, this is a song of many interpretations. Uh, the one of the inter interpretation is that uh, Paul McCartney, uh, the Beatles member, uh, he was in India and he was inspired of uh, the sound and 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 and, and uh, Blackbird. But the other interpretation is actually Paul McCartney himself said that back in 1960s there was this um, racial interracial problems in in the southern US and this that's why it was also interpreted as black girl so without further ado enjoy oh sorry about that <clears throat> Rock the wings and learn to fly. Oh, 
Blackbird from the Beatles. And the next song, I think uh, for us, this is also, we want to also convey a message. This song, uh, every, every person is a leader, but uh, we believe that we're, as a person, we're not also a leader, but we, we, have, we all have to remember that we have to love ourselves because with love, well, that's the greatest love of all, loving ourselves. The greatest love of all is covered from Whitney Houston. Enjoy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> Thank you. 
you for watching and listening uh, i hope you enjoy it and see you again Amazing. I, I was totally melted. I was totally melted. Uh, it was a very great performance. Thank you, Ari and Alia. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is dedicated for leadership. What is the theme for tonight? It is impactful leadership. Be a person who can lead. The next session is going to be led by someone who is no stranger to leadership. Distinguished Toastmasters Iran has been a Toastmaster for nine years. She has taken various exco roles in her club and was area director for two years. She is also currently a VPPR in the AAA Toastmasters Club. Outside Toastmasters, she is also a development consultant, currently leading a small diverse team in promoting economic development in ASEAN. Let us welcome Distinguished Toastmaster Iren Wijaya with the leadership advice that rules them all. Thank you, Toastmaster Chris. So tonight, I have to tell you that when I was invited to deliver this speech tonight here, I scoured the internet. I was trying to find that perfect leadership advice that I can share with you in this very special night for Mets. So I, I, I looked for that perfect advice. I wanted to find the most important one, the one leadership advice to rule them all. And there are many, I'm sure you heard of them. Communicate well, build relationship, solve problems, manage time, lead by example, lead their serve, understand needs, motivate others. There are so many I can go on all night. After all that reading and thinking, though, I thought, yeah, right. We all know these rules. These are not new. Yet how many person do you know are really able to practice them? Think about it in your communities, in your family, in your office. Because I can tell you, based on my experience, very few. Uh, in fact, so many of us, I think, have seen or even been horrible bosses that uh, we have so many books and movies and jokes that's built around this common theme. So it just seems that while we know how to be a good leader, we sometimes just forget how to be them, how to practice them. And, and I feel that sometimes we are sabotaged by own, our own thoughts, our own feelings, our own actions. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Toastmasters, friends, I propose that we forget everything about being a better leader. I propose that we focus on one thing. And that one thing is a very intimate topic, knowing ourselves. To be a better leader, first and foremost, let's look inside ourselves. Know what drives us. Know what motivates us. Know what we fear. Because once we are self-aware, once we know all these things, only then can we begin to learn how to lead others. I recently watched a video by Tony Robbins, which outlines six humans' needs. And I'm going to paste the text here so that you can refer to it. So it's in the chat box now. The six human needs are certainty, uncertainty or variety, significance, love and connection, contribution, and growth. 
six human needs that everyone shares. The thing is with different people, we put different way on them. So I may value contribution the most. Chris may value love and connection the most. So how we fulfill these needs, either positive or negative, is not influence us. It, it, it changes how we act as a leader. So let me give you an example. One of my most valued need is significance. So I need to know that I'm needed, that I'm special. And I'm always afraid that if people don't see me as special, they will undermine me. They will leave me out. And so this, this want and this fear drives how I act as a leader. And I've done horrible things because of this. I remember that I once failed to recognize my team's contribution and I just claimed the accomplishment as my own. I've done that. I've also hoard information. I don't tell anyone anything so that when my team wants to solve a problem or take an action, they have to come to me. So I feel important. And, and I keep doing these very bad things. And I wouldn't have realized it until one of my team actually came to me and asked, can you share information so then we can uh, take action? And I was shocked when I realized that I have been doing this for many years and I never realized it. So I, I had to reflect and I had to think about all my needs and, and try to understand what drove me. And once I do, I realized that I can actually change. I can intentionally change my action to fulfill those needs by a more positive actions by more positive ways for instance i value significance significance doesn't have to mean significant for the company or your boss how can i be significant for my team how can i fulfill my needs by being significant to their growth so eventually i was able to fulfill my needs for significance by being a mentor so I voluntarily mentored some of the younger teams, uh, younger member of my teams. And I feel fulfilled. It is a positive action. And that's when I realized it's all in here. It's all inside. I am not a great leader yet. I'm still learning. But I believe I'm on the path to be one because I, I learned the basic and the basic is inside. So. What is the one leadership advice that rules them all? To me, is to look inside ourselves. Only you know what needs you value the most. Only you can make sure that you satisfy those needs in a positive way. So this is the basis, the core, which will allow us to intentionally be better leaders, to learn the right skills, and to be able to apply them in our lives. And once you do, you will project qualities that only great leaders have. Humility, compassion, trust, authenticity. You will be those leaders who can empower their team, who treats their team as families, who inspire their team to be their best. And you will do this effortlessly because you will be driven from the inside. So, to the newly installed EXCO of METS, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you find a bit more of yourself in the process and you can be the person who can lead. And for all the leaders and aspiring leaders in this room tonight, I leave you with a quote from Lao Tzu. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. Back to you, Chris. Wow. Thank you so much, Irene. You know what? I actually look for that one thing that can be universally applied. But you actually tailor made that for everyone by having one sentence. You need to look within yourself because you only know how you value one thing that you value the most. So basically, it was tailor made for. Uh, everyone. Thank you, Irene. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have rounded up all our, our session for tonight. Again, 
Uh, thank you for Exco 1920 for your servant leadership for the past one year. Have a great leadership journey, Exco 2021. I know that we are in the great hand. Well, can we have the slide for the Metropolitan Toastmaster information? Yes. So for all of you who want to know about Metropolitan Toastmasters, we will have our regular meetings every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And our next meeting will be on the 28th of July. Send so, follow our Instagram account, next slide, at mats.toastmasters. Keep in contact. As I mentioned in my opening, we have our district director for District 87 with us. I would like to seek some comments from him on our meeting and his words on our district. All the way from Brunei, let us welcome Distinguished Toastmasters, Ellen Ang. Hello, am I audible? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me tonight at your installation. And I think it's more than installation. It was such a great event. First of all, I was shocked. Because when I heard about the table topics of Alien, I was thinking, I'm glad I did not volunteer myself because I definitely do not know how to give a speech as a Ministry of Health on how to tackle aliens. And when you have a performance by Toastmasters Ari and Aurea, I think that was amazing. I was listening to it and I was falling in love almost immediately already. Thank you for having me and thank you for the extended invitation. And of course, not forgetting the education sessions by Irene on Tony Norbin's Six Human Needs. I was closely listening to your sessions and I couldn't agree more about understanding ourselves first before we talk about you know, serving others and others. Exco is a very important role to any organizations, especially to Toastmasters, because all of us are here on a voluntary basis. Some of us come in here to improve our communication skills. Some of us come in here to improve our leadership skills. And a lot of us come in here to gain confidence. And over times, we learn all these things by taking up roles, but we learn the most when we start to serve others. I would like to echo what Irene has mentioned. For all the ex who are here, who are embarking onto your journey in 2020 to 2021, don't aim about doing many, many great things. Just aim at doing small things, one thing at a time, and do it diligently. Because if you're able to keep it consistent, all this small minor success will eventually compile to become a greater success. And as an individual, if we strive, it is great. But I feel like it's always fun and it has greater sense of achievement when we are able to achieve greater success as a team. Through the EXCO lineup, with the president leading the way, Cecilia, vice president of education, Rido, Vice President Membership, Wewit, Vice President Public Relations, Attila, the Secretary and Treasurer at the same time, Mickey, and also Sergeant at Arms, Christopher. I wish all of you the best in the coming terms. And if you were to require any sort of assistance, look left, look right to all your members. They are there to support you. And of course, not forgetting all of us from the other divisions and even from the district as well. At the end of the day, taking away all the Toastmasters title, we all are just fellow friends who wanted to improve and who wanted to be a better person. So with that, I would like to say thank you very much again for inviting me and congratulations to the incoming EXCO and to Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, your amazing club. And I'm glad that I've actually made time to come here tonight and get myself inspired. Thank you again. I would like to hand it back to Christian, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Distinguished Toastmaster Alan Ang, our District Director for District 87. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, everyone, now we are going to have the end of our session. I would like to ask everyone to have their video on because this is the time for us for picture taking. Okay, everyone have your video on. 
we will have team from at America to cue us on the picture taking. Control, share, video. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, comment. Terus saja, terus saja. Nggak usah di, nggak usah lu lihat. Okay, we have 44 participants. I think we have only gotten 15 of them having the video on. Okay, everyone, have your video on. We will have picture taking. <laughs> okay, we still got another 21 more. Okay, uh, 21 more, have your video on. And uh, somebody just mentioned that uh, he hasn't taken a bath. Neither have I. Okay, let's, it's fine. <laughs> okay, everyone, have your video on. Okay, let's just take the first batch, okay? Sure. Everybody ready? Say cheese, look at the camera. Another one. Okay. We are good, Lexi? Yes, we are. We are good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Before we part our ways, let me return the control back to the team of at America. Uh, I'll give, I'll pass the control to Fifi. Okay, thank you, Director Toastmaster Christian, and also all of the speakers for sharing the great session tonight with Ad America TV. So, guys, earlier in the event, I have a question that you have to answer, a quiz question for tonight's event. And the, uh, and the question is, what organization dedicated to providing disaster relief was founded by Clara Burton. And the correct answer is the American Red Cross. And congratulations to our winner for tonight at Findia Diningrat from Twitter for answering correctly. Congratulations, Findia. And for those of you guys who are wondering how can you develop an awesome idea for a place like this, easy. Just go to our website at www.atamerica.or.id. Just go to create a program and go to collaborate with us. All events proposals coming to us will be reviewed and your event might be featured here soon. And also don't forget to, our, uh, don't forget to subscribe our newsletter for all of our weekly events updates that will be sent straight to your inbox. All right. And also don't forget to all of our social media account. We have Facebook account, Twitter account, Instagram account, Periscope, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, sub uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. Don't forget to tune in next time. See you next time. Bye.